you are teleported into an alternate dimension with three prophets. To escape, you must correctly identify the names of the three prophets. You know that one of the prophets is truth. He always tells the truth. One of the prophets is false. He always tells a lie. The final prophet is random. He will randomly respond with the truth or a lie. All three prophets look identical, and the only way you can discover who is whom is to ask them questions. You may ask exactly three yes or no questions. You can ask the same question to all three prophets, or you can ask one prophet three questions, or any combination. But you have three questions which must be addressed to a specific prophet. Here are the assumptions. These prophets are completely omniscient. They even know the answer to events which have not happened yet. You are not permitted to ask a question that cannot be answered with yes or no. The prophets understand the true nature of your question. For instance, the question, is the sky blue, can be interpreted in many different ways. Do you mean the earth sky? Or do you mean the appearance from a person on earth looking up? And so forth. The prophets understand the nuances of what you meant and can appropriately answer with yes or no. The prophets will only give you yes or no. They will always answer. If you try to ask a question that the prophets can't answer, you will be magically prevented from asking that question in the first place. So, what three questions do you ask, and to whom do you address them, to discover the identities of the prophets? As far as I know, there are two answers. Alright, if you're seeing this riddle for the first time and you want to solve it, pause this video now. In the meantime, congratulations to Radical X and Archeon, the only two people to solve this riddle before I made the solution video. If you stick around until the end, I'll show you Radical X's answer, which is pretty unusual. Also, time to give credit. I was made aware of this riddle by Scam School, link below, although I didn't like their solution. I'm not going to explain why because I really like that channel and I don't want to be met negative, but you can look at their solution if you want. I showed this to a friend and then realized this was actually a much more common riddle than I had thought, so there's actually a bunch of solutions out there. Ted Ed did a good video on it, although I still haven't seen anyone present my particular solution. Okay, instead of just randomly asking questions, let's make a game plan. So first, what's our victory scenario? After we figure out the victory scenario, we can make a roadmap to accomplish that, and then we can come up with specific questions to get there. So what is the victory scenario? Actually, there are two. If we know that we're talking to truth for the last question, we can solve the riddle. For instance, we could point to a prophet and ask truth, is this guy random? If he says yes, then that's random and the other one is false. If he says no, then the guy you pointed to is obviously false and the other one is random. Likewise, if you know you're talking to false on the last question, you can do the same thing and account for his dishonesty. You ask, is this guy random? And if he says yes, that's truth and the other is random. If he says no, that's random and the other is truth. As far as I can tell, these are the only two victory conditions. If you walk into the last question knowing that you're speaking to either truth or false, you win. If you can come up with another victory condition, put it in the comments, but that's all I've got. So let's make a roadmap to get to that win condition. This arrow here means we need to know which one is truth and which one is false, and this circle is the question we can ask to solve the riddle, aka our win condition. That's how we spend question 2 getting to the win condition. So let's backtrack. How can we figure out which prophet is truth or false? Random makes it very difficult because basically anything we send to him is a wasted question. So if we send question number 2 to a prophet that is not random, we can easily determine his identity. For instance, if we know that we're not talking to random, we can simply ask, does a square have four sides, or any answer that you know the answer to. If the answer is no, then we're talking to false. If the answer is yes, we're talking to truth. So if random is eliminated, we can easily get to the win condition. Therefore, we should spend our first question eliminating random. If we can eliminate random, we must be talking to either truth or false. I got to this by working backwards, but you can also realize a fundamental aspect of this riddle. If you might be accidentally asking random a question, almost every question becomes meaningless. One way or another, you need to find a way to eliminate random if you want to solve this riddle. There are two main ways to eliminate random. Right now, I'll show you my original method, and at the end of this video, I'll show you Radical X's original solution, as well as the most common solution. I'm not counting Radical X's among the two main ways because his is, like, super complicated. For reference right now, let's label the prophet as 1, 2, and 3. So I ask number 1, is prophet 2 more likely to give me the truth than prophet 3? The prophet who is less likely to tell the truth is our golden ticket. This is the person we need to talk to for the second question. Let me prove it. Suppose prophet 1 was truth. According to truth, false will be the prophet less likely to tell the truth. So if he says yes, then 3 is less likely to tell the truth than 2, which means that 3 is false. If truth says no, then 2 is less likely to tell the truth, 
so 2 is false. So if profit 1 is truth, and you address question 2 to the profit least likely to tell the truth, then you are talking to false. That's not random, so it works. Suppose profit 1 was false. You ask him, is profit 2 more likely to tell the truth than profit 3? For false, truth will be less likely to tell the truth than random, because he's lying. So yes means you should talk to profit 3, and no means you should talk to profit 2. But what if profit 1 is random? In this case, it really doesn't matter what he says. Either way, since you're picking a different profit to ask the second question to, anything random says will work. So no matter which profit you ask this question to, if you go to the profit least likely to tell the truth, you will not be random. Following this formula, truth will lead you to false, false will lead you to truth, and random will lead you to either truth or false, but not back to himself. So now you've identified a profit which is not random, but you don't know whether this profit is truth or false. That's an easy one to discover now that random is out of the picture. Just ask any question that you know the answer to. Does the square have four sides? If the profit says yes, then you're speaking to truth. If he says no, you're speaking to false. You've met the win condition. You can now address the final question to either truth or false, and you know which one he is. So you ask, is profit one random? Depending on whether you're speaking to truth or false, and his answer, you can figure out the names of every profit. For those of you who really like charts and you want to see every possible scenario, here's a chart. I don't want to scare you though, it really doesn't require such precise mapping, just good intuition or process of elimination. Question 2 and 3 are the same for every solution. There are, however, a few different ways of eliminating random. The most common that I've seen is the same as used in the TED Ed video. What you say here is, if I asked you, is that guy random, would you say yes? In this scenario, both truth and false say the same thing. If they say yes, address question 2 to the other guy. If they say no, address question 2 to him. Truth is straightforward and false lies about lying, effectively telling the truth. And again, if you're talking to random, the answer doesn't matter because the next question won't be addressed to him. So following the same procedure still works. Radical X also came up with a really unique way to solve it. I'll post some screenshots of his answer. P.S. Radical, I don't know what you mean by simple logic. Since participation was pretty low for this challenge, let me know what kind of challenges you all would like to see. Was this one too hard? I'll still release videos for the challenges I already have planned, but if participation doesn't increase, I'll stop it there and maybe resume at a later date. Let me know what kind of challenges you want to see. And thanks for watching. If you want more challenges like this, giving this video a like or subscribing to the channel really gives me a lot of encouragement. Make sure to leave a comment if you want a different type of challenge, or if you just want to brag about how you solved the riddle, or if you want to be like first with four exclamation points while it's still possible. <coughs> cough, cough, because once this channel blows up, it won't be so easy anymore. I'll see you in the next video. Or, wait, it doesn't work like that. You'll see now, no guarantee. You'll hear me in the next video.